Bischoff, the sensory lady. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you are a mom trying to find ways to incorporate learning and growth into your kids' everyday lives, then this is the place for you. Like my channel, subscribe so you don't miss anything. I'm a mom just like you with two little kids and we are trying everything we can to incorporate learning on a daily basis using sensory play and different activities to be able to sprinkle that in everywhere that we possibly can. So like and subscribe below if that's you too. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really easy way to incorporate math into your kids' daily life. This is really simple. It requires zero prep work, no planning whatsoever. I did it in five minutes. Um, and it's just with stuff you have lying around the house. So math is kind of a hard concept and kids don't like to have to sit down and do that just for practice, just because, right? And my kids are happen to be on summer break, so they absolutely don't want to sit down and do math problems. So this is a fun way of getting them to do some math and to practice their skills so that they're not behind when they go back to school in the summer, but it's kind of got a summery twist to it. So watch the video and see what you think. Thanks for watching. Can you write it down? Nice work. Okay, Park, you got one more. Can you do the last one? What does it say? Good job, Parker. Paige, look at how good you've done over here. Okay, Paige, can you tell me yours? So, um, so, um, five plus six is 11, so we put one, one right here, and then we put one right here. Yeah. So what's one? So, um, so, so what's two plus three? So what's two plus one? Three? So we have, so pretend this is a three. Yeah. And then it's 70, and then you get 71. Good job. And then, see, this equals 10. Yeah. And then, so we put the one right here, and we put the zero right here, and um, pretend that this is a three, and then what's three plus three? Six, so it gets you to 60. Good job. <laughs> and then, this equals 10. So 10, so this equals 10. So we put the one right here, then the zero right here, and then what's one plus one plus one? Three, so that gets you 30. And then what's eight plus one? Nine. And then what's three plus six? Nine, so it gets you to 99. Super good. All we did was take sidewalk chalk. I wrote the math problems out. Obviously my kids are in two very different spots. Paige is learning a little bit different level of math than Parker, but I needed a way for one activity to kind of cover both of them today. So I made their problems two different colors. Paige's were purple, Parker's were blue. Just kind of whatever we had. So you can tell that they're working on very different skills, but we're doing the same thing all together, which kind of combined it and made it so that we could do that for 10 minutes and be done but we got some math sprinkled in today, so that's a win. So it's really simple. Obviously, all we did was substitute a pencil for chalk and paper for the sidewalk. We got them outside in a new environment. It's a little bit more exciting because we don't do that on a daily basis. Um, also, if you notice in the video, I'm constantly praising them. I'm having Parker, um, I'm recueing him over and over to keep going, to keep doing it, to praise him that he did a good job. With Paige, it's really important for her to actually be able to explain the skill. She's obviously at a very different point, and so for her to be able to talk through what she's doing and why she's doing it is really important for her to be able to get that skill really cemented in her mind of what she's doing, and it's gonna make it easier for her to move on to the next steps. So, really simple, easy ways to do math and just sprinkle it in there. Five minutes, we got to be outside, it was a beautiful day. It's a really great way to have math in the middle of summer break. If you found this video useful or helpful, or you're looking for more ways to sprinkle learning into your kids' daily lives, 
this is the place for you. Like, subscribe, and I'm going to share all of my tips and tricks. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.